Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Is that Zaboomafu? I just found this little guy hanging out of the tree. Look at this thing. Rocks. Oh, bring me to a pile of rocks or what? Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Oh, wow. Okay, so we just found this statue. Aha! We made business. What is this? It looks like a little kind of grandma chair thing. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Yo, there's something. Man, what is that? That is cool. Yeah, so we just found this, uh, this uh, wizard statue, guy. Holy crap, yeah, there's something right there. Found that right now. Nice, nice fort. There you go. Uh, hello? I just saw somebody. back random knots to this next exciting adventure so we're checking out this forest part of the Bruce trail really anxious to see uh, new parts of this thing or if it's just I don't know what it is because it looks like it's just very straight but I imagine there's other trails and paths along the way um, there's a lot of people out dog walking and, and coming out here and checking out this place it's a really really nice forest but anyways guys let's get this show on the road all right so we're at it again out filming in the great beyond. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. I love these these types of trails. Um, I found this one. It was nice and flat. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. Let's run and not here. So I've been doing that lately. Been finding places that are more my comfort zone. And that's another thing about the app too, guys, that you guys would probably appreciate is that like, yeah, if you're not comfortable just spawn a new coordinate do something new don't force yourself to do something that you're uncomfortable with doing that's that's the biggest thing with random nautica you want to be in your comfort zone like you're doing this for fun so yeah, going up there it looks like there's like a tree that kind of came down or something it looked like there was a storm because i've been looking around well, yeah, there was that storm um, actually a few nights ago. You guys saw a bit of it. I filmed it. Um, I'm wondering if all the trees being down, not only here, but like locally and everywhere else, I'm wondering if that's from that huge lightning storm. Because I think lightning can split trees and take out trees, if that makes any sense. I think people use this to ATV and snowmobile, probably primarily snowmobile, because I've been seeing these 50 kilometer an hour signs just entering the place about like vehicles. But yeah, this is a big walking trail, so I find it odd if they're actually doing that. I mean, because like, People drive like a bat out of hell, but I imagine maybe this is closed winter so that they can snowmobile and then yeah, there's no hikers. Yeah, this tree came down. A little wild. Alright. Yeah, I've got my handy uh, road microphone. Definitely check those guys out. Super awesome. So it's a wind blocker. It's got everything on it. I got that so that you guys wouldn't be able to hear the audio better. So my first point is actually going to be on the right hand side. I'm a little excited tonight. Going to have a big fish fry. So that's always a good thing. And you can see there's water. I saw this too. Back there a bit. That's like a gas container down there. I don't know why that's down there. 
Lots of crazy stuff. But I imagine they have to maintain this trail quite a bit because of all this stuff. Okay, so it says that my first point is on my left. I mean, on my right, sorry. I don't want to go too, too far down here, guys, because I, I don't want to freaking fall into the water. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Is that Zaboomafoo? Oh my gosh. I just found this little guy hanging out of the tree. Like, look at this thing. Oh, nothing written on him. Oh, he had buttons on him. Is there anything inside of him? Let me check. Nope. I think he's just a hand puppet. Oh. Here, little guy. I don't know if that belongs to somebody that just lives uh, on the property here or whatever. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess that we'll set the uh, we'll set the next point and going up ahead. All right. Back at it again, baby. Yeah, this place is huge. Wide open fields, farmer fields down there. Yeah, it was really nice. My grandpa came and visited, and uh, he got to hold the baby. Got to hold little Rebecca, so that was really, really nice. And we did a photo. We'll probably send him a picture. Have it framed and stuff for him, so he can have his granddaughter. Great grand, he's the great grandfather. <laughs> My grandpa. So, I thought that was really, really cool. It's nice, super, super nice out with the sun. I'm liking this. So tonight, I'm gonna try something different. I kind of wanted to check out this Bigfoot area and go there and see if it's secure enough and nobody's coming back to it, nobody's using it, that we could probably do an overnight video there. And just wait and see if we get anything, try some tree knocking, different things like that. And like I said, I'm not doing like paranormal anymore, but I've always been interested in if this creature does exist. So for me, it's kind of like a creature feature. So hopefully I can tag that onto this video as part of a bonus and you guys will have a bit of that. Yeah, see they've chopped stuff down. Stuff that's splitting from the storm. This is dangerous, see that tree there? Those can come right across and hit people. So hopefully Hopefully not. Hopefully everything is good and it does not cause that, so. Oh, got somebody's bike went through. Turn the camera. Oh. Yeah, lots of people out today. Out and about doing different things, keeping active. That's what I'm trying to do to trying to catch up this month. I haven't actually done a lot, so hopefully we can catch up a bit. Yeah, you can smell the lumber over here. That's the thing. You can, you can really, really smell it. So I guess they had a lot to cut down. Cleared all that out. That's somebody's land over there. It's funny, farmers have so much land, you figured that they'd do a little exploring of their own and check those things out, so. Mm, that's always a good thing. All right, so my next point says that it's over in here somewhere. Let me check it out. Trees and stuff everywhere. Yeah, there's these weird trees with these big bumps on. Whoa! There's a little chipmunk. That's all right. And we've got rocks everywhere. I don't know, bring me to a pile of rocks or what? Oh, yo, what the heck is that? There's something right there. Oh, wow. Okay, so we just found this statue. 
I don't know what that's made out of. But yeah, there's some some writing on the front of it there. And the guy, he's holding on to his beard. Stuff like that. That is wild. So we just found that right now, guys. Yeah, I heard like a tree kind of creaking. It kind of freaked me out. Because I'm kind of just like, oh, like I hope a tree isn't coming down in this direction. Because that's what happens. I've actually walked through forests where trees have actually fallen down. But I think we're actually okay. So I think we're good to continue on to our next point. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run a bunch of points. And if I get a little bored and I want to just hike, then we'll do that. We'll do a hike. I'm going to do a little camera wipe here. Camera could always use a little wipey poo. A little bit better. Oh, a little bit of smudge there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's much better. All right, we'll go on up ahead. Set our next point. So apologies on this episode. I've been using my own points today. And, oh yeah, there's a, there's a freaking tree house up there. Check that out. Kind of cool but yeah uh today i'm just doing my own points um and it was mainly because i just wanted to get this out i'm really really behind and if i'm gonna keep this job i'm gonna have to try to make more money so that's the big thing going on right now um yeah i don't know how it's gonna work everything dropped this month on the algorithm so this month it's do or die so if i can keep her going and make enough money for the household and to keep going then I will if I can't then I have to search for something else but I'm trying I'm trying to put it out there guys a helicopter there. remember the last time seeing like a helicopter when it was uh... okay so there's people walking so I'm just gonna have the camera on the right hand side. Hello. Hello. The guy that bought it. He was the one. So other people just enjoying enjoying the hike. Enjoying the wilderness. It's funny, so like I was looking up this thing, they're saying, like, what is the biggest most largest forest in I think Canada and I think it's the boreal the boreal forest and there's like lots and lots and lots of nature there so there's that so that's always very very interesting all right so my next point will be on the left hand side hopefully I don't have to step in any water oh there's a biker coming through Hello. People biking. Beautiful farm field there with horses and the whole bit, so that's really cool. I think we have more bikers. <laughs> yep, yeah, there's more bikers, so we're just going to wait for them to pass by. All right, so our next point is on this right-hand side. I can't film ahead right now because there's children, so that's a rule on YouTube. We can't be filming uh, the youth. Okay. Seeing anything else random in here, so that's... That sucks. Really thought that I would see some random stuff laying around, maybe some extra things. Okay. Looks like I can get in up here and just have a look around. Yeah, let's go up here. Close enough. Close enough to the point, we'll have a look around and see if there is anything in here. Yeah, 
so far I'm not really seeing much guys but this radius is pretty big so we'll probably scour the area and just see if we find anything really. Not seeing anything on this side. All right, well this radius is bigger, so we'll just go back here and have a look. The trick is to have a keen eye. Really observe your surroundings. Because otherwise you're going to walk past something and somebody's going to be like, Yo, I saw that in your video. And you walk right past it. I get that all the time in Randonautica. That is just a given. You'll walk past things, you'll just, you won't even know. You won't even know you, you missed it. This might be a dud, but like I said, I don't give up. You gotta keep searching. You, you might find something. Hmm. Anything yet, guys. Oh. So odd. Well, maybe I'll do. Uh... What's well, not odd? <laughs> this is actually 90% of the friggin' time, but I really thought that I was on some sort of a mission here because I found a few things. Yeah, I'll go up here a little bit more, but I'm going to go back because I'm kind of dipping out of the radius now. Yeah, I think I'll go back. I'm not seeing anything over here. Anyways, so yeah, we'll go back, have another look. And if I don't find anything at this one, for sure, we'll set another one. We'll use power. Hopefully we get something to spawn spawn we'll find something <laughs> that's what it feels like it feels like i'm in a video game most of the time spawning some new items my coordinates not seen anything so far but like i said you never you never really know when you're in this thing it could be it could be something, it could be something, it could be nothing at all. Some people set up coordinates in the silliest of locations, so. I don't see anything here. Exploring. It's almost like this type of exploring is it's almost like uh, metal detecting. And it's funny, I know a guy that he does this. He does the metal detecting thing and he'll find all kinds of stuff. But yet you have so many, you have misses, right? So you're not always going to see, see stuff. I'm not seeing anything guys. This one could have been a big dud by the looks of things. There's nothing there. Wow, I really, really had hoped to find something in here because this is just a wide, wide radius. Like you're thinking like, oh yeah, there could be something over there. I'm looking at the rocks back there. I'm not seeing anything. I've passed by a bunch of trees. So I think it might be safe to say that this one is a dud. I just, I'm not seeing anything. So I don't want to keep, I don't want to bore you guys by not finding nothing so I might go back down and keep going wow I really thought I was gonna find something up here it's just a cool spot you know who knows we'll see maybe we'll go up maybe we'll go up a little further yeah maybe we'll go up a little further and check check up through here I don't like to give up, you know? I kind of like to, to see if this is going anywhere. 
Okay, well, we, we already looked here. So, I'm not going to check that. Water stops over here. Okay, let's just check up here. I know I'm winging it. But I just don't know. This hear sounds of nature that throw me off. Yeah, this place is kind of cool, though. That's kind of another reason I keep going up here. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Yo, there's something right there. Aha! We made business. What is this? It looks like a little kind of grandma chair thing. Let's try to get the focus on it. Yeah, it looks like a little grandma chair thing. There's a little teddy. I think that was a bottle of wine. Oh yeah, it fell over, it fell upside down. And it says, oh, your golden anniversary. Best wishes, happy 50th anniversary. What is this? It's a 50th wedding anniversary. The glass dome is removable. The roses are handcrafted from an oven baked clay. Okay, is there anything inside? Nothing inside, just says happy 50th uh, wedding anniversary. And then there's like a little thing here. <clears throat> we'll just have a check. Check out what this is here. If there's anything written on it at all. It's kind of hard to open. What is this thing? Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, what is this? Yeah, so it says 50th wedding anniversary place photo here. So nobody's actually used this. I guess they just bought this for somebody and that was left. But I don't know, maybe they, like that's what I mean. They could have passed away, something could have happened. Maybe this park was somewhere that they liked and and they wanted to put, like that's what I mean. I keep finding things, sometimes it's uh, memorial stuff. And it's literally just, yeah, it's just like left here. We do have benches, like we do, we do things. Like we've had benches, there's like these new tree pod things now. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. But anyways, I think what we'll do is we'll set another intent and go on up ahead. Alrighty then. Back up ahead. Wow, it's beautiful. Couldn't have picked a better day to do this. This is awesome. It would have been neat, neat to, on this trail to see like a big body of water, but we just have like, these puddles that kind of turned into, uh, I don't know, like a swamp or something. So, yeah. <laughs> There's just that. You know what though, guys? No matter what happens to the channel, I love all you guys. And... You know, if it is what it is, then that's that's great. And I enjoyed it for what it was. And maybe I'll still be dropping killer videos. Like maybe I'll be doing stuff that's different once in a while or whatever. But yeah, it's all up in the air right now. Wow, listen to that. That's really nice. I love nature. Love nature. So, the next point will be on the left. Look at all this stuff here. Really nice. Oh, what was that? Was that a snake? I used to catch snakes. I hear something moving. Yeah, it's a snake. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. That's a garter snake or, no, that's not a garter snake. That's a, a yellow ribbon snake or a ribbon snake. So he's going back. Oh, he's coming back out. Hold on. He wants to come out though. 
Oh, shit, he's coming. He's coming. My foot's all wet. He's climbing. There's another snake. Wow. I shouldn't have put my foot on this. I got it all wet. Yeah, his head's right there. There's another snake back there, though. But I think we'll leave him be. I don't want to pester him or bug him. He's probably hunting. That's really cool, though. Holy smokes. The things that you guys see when you're out here. Crazy. Oh, God. I had a... Uh... I think I'm gonna throw it out in the garbage. I had this green shake. It's supposed to have like, you know, all your green vegetables, antioxidants. As soon as I ate it, drank it, my stomach just curdled. And here I was just thinking, oh, I'll take this. It'll give me a bunch of vitamins and crap just while I do the walk so then I can get the walk out of the way with, come home and eat. And I feel like absolute garbage right now. So I probably won't do that again. But anyways, those are my points out here. I'm wondering if it's just leaving me to the field. Which very might well be. Yeah, so left to this big, big, beautiful farmer field. This guy has a lot of land. It's over here somewhere. I'm going to go into long, long grass because the ticks and stuff because they will all be out now. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? Yo, there's something right here. Oh, man, what is that? That is cool. Yeah, so we just found this, uh, this uh, wizard statue, guys. Oh, is he a wind-up? Okay, so that's weird. I guess he's a wind-up. So we just found a wind-up right now. Let's see how this thing goes. I don't recognize that at all. That is wild. Very cool. I just found that right there, guys. Yeah, so if you guys know that song, let us know um, in the comment section below. Ooh, I think I'm just going to spawn the next one right here. And just keep on going. Alright, here we go. Cool. I like that very much. Very, very much I like that. Cool. Always nice to find some interesting things doing these hikes. Because, I mean, what would they be? They would be, I'm not going to say boring, but they would be less entertaining, not finding anything. Because then it's just a bunch of walking. Be like, be like Lord of the Rings or something. No, I'm just kidding. That film was all right. You guys can love it. There was a lot of walking, though. I'm not going to lie. That whole movie. A lot of walking and traveling to get to where they needed to be, so. Yeah, I'm kind of loving this, though. I'm loving these flat paths. That's why I chose this, because it's like, no matter what trail I go on, it's nice and flat like this, so... Yeah, I figured. So my next point... says that it's up here. Check that out. It's actually neat, because there's like a little dirt path going up, so... I don't know what's up here. Big creepy tree or a little creepy tree? Which one do I check first? 
All right, let's see if there's any surprises behind uh, creepy small tree number one. Go check this one. I've already given up on that one. Hmm. Holy crap, yeah, there's something right there. Oh no. And it looks like more clown things. And finding clown things religiously throughout this career. Yeah, so we just found that right now. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is a music box too. What the heck? So far we've found two music boxes, guys. Let me just see what this is. Oh, yikes, and it moves too. Is creepy. I have to be really careful when I find things like this because I never know if I'm going to be set up or not. There's no note, nothing inside. Odd. But whenever I find one of these things, I always assume that, you know, it could be some sort of setup. You know what makes me think of, though, this thing? It makes me think of uh, Jack in a Box. Like, that's exactly kind of what I was thinking. All right, Creepo. You can go back to it. Oh, that's weird. And again, if you guys know that song, let me know. Somebody was actually really good at guessing um, music box sounds that we seem to find um, religiously. So, yeah, if you can guess it, then there you go. Oh, I don't like finding clown stuff. So, I think I'm done for setting points today. Uh, look forward to uh, me setting up. I'm not sure how far it'll go. But I'm setting up to do uh, the Bigfoot, maybe a Bigfoot series overnight, camping in the Bigfoot teepee. So be sure to uh, watch the rest of this video for that and see what goes down. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit more hiking. I think what I'm going to do, I'll hike maybe another 10, 15 minutes. We'll just check this place out. I haven't really fully, fully checked it out. So we'll go and do a little exploring of our own right now. Yeah, because if that's a setup, I don't want to keep this app running and them being able to trace it. So right now I put my, my phone off. It's tur completely turned off. So they can't track it. I think here's another thing you can do is put it on pilot mode. And stuff. A lot of people are telling me to get a VPN, which I have thought about doing. I don't know if you can still be tracked with that, but oh, yeah. it's probably just they tied like a poop bag there or something. All right, what's up here? Nice, cool breeze blowing. All that good stuff. One thing that wrecks our footage is, uh, well, filming for the month is the weather. So when the weather gets really bad, there's really nothing we can do. You know, there's some bird cages there. Odd place to have a bench and sit, but we found just a bench. And the bench is here. <laughs> wow, I have such a huge hike back. You guys have no idea. But yeah, we did find a creepy clown here. I don't think he was one of the boys, though. I mean, when I look at Glow Eyes and I looked at Marvels, they don't look like this chunky, bigger guy that I've been seeing. So I don't know if there's a whole group of them. I don't really know. All I know is I started calling their ringleader Mr. Marbles because he always, always 
left me marbles here. Like, that was a given. Yeah, this is it, too. This is where I saw him. He was here, and this was like a crab apple tree in there. There was apples all over the ground. And, uh, yeah, so that had happened. I have seen snakes on this trail, so it's pretty cool. Got to see a little snakey slithering around. We've seen some cool stuff on our adventures, haven't we? We've had some pretty, pretty awesome times. Another birdhouse. Alright, so we found another birdhouse there. Oh, cats in. I haven't seen another trail. I was kind of hoping to find another new trail and to be able to uh, check that out, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, they're not really trails. They're kind of like. I mean, we can go inside and have a look-see. That's always a thing. What's over there? Nothing over there. This goes in. See, I only don't like doing this because of long grass. I've been bitten by several ticks in the area, so I don't want to... Yeah, I don't really want to go in here. That's just... This kind of grass is where they kind of hang out. That long stuff, even the white stuff. I just... I don't want to do that. But we're going to walk up on ahead and just see if there's anything new. Because I've never been this far. Not on this trail. I've never been this far on this one. Wow. Perfect day, though. Couldn't be happier with this very, very good day. Looks like there's somebody way, way back there. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't know if they're just walking ahead. That was kind of odd. So I don't want to go too, too far. I don't want to be set up. I'm seeing just lo regular lo uh, local hikers, so that's good. There's a little mucky up there by the tree there. So I found some marbles up here. That was one thing I wanted to point out right there. I found like a little locker box thing. And that was full of uh, marbles. I opened it up and it was just a bunch of crazy stuff. I think there was a photo too of one of the brothers himself as a child. He's been doing that. He's been taunting us with like... Oh, yo, they're coming right back. They were... At the end, and then they turned around, and now they're coming back. All right, I think we're going to turn around. Okay, so I'm going to turn around. I don't know what's going on. It could be just a dog walker, but, like, I'm just a little suspicious because they were going all the way out, and then they just turned around. And they're wearing all black. So, we'll just turn around and go up this way a bit. And see what happens. Because, yeah, we've had weird incidences out here with people. Look at these mounts. This place is really cool, though. I mean, you could... If you had an ATV and it was allowed, you could definitely rip down this thing. And then it would be a lot of fun because it's like a straightaway. Realistically, you could still do it with people around. You just have to, um, like whenever I used to ATV, literally if there's people, you, it's easy to break and slow down. It's just people, some people are speed demons and they will just go and go and go and that's, that's too much. Just some garbage. Lots of cut wood over here. And stuff. Yeah, I think that person's just walking their dog, so we're fine. They're fine there. But I'll see if we can find some other stuff on the way. We're not going to walk all the way back. I won't bore you with that, but we'll look because, I mean, I like to catch things in a vlog. If we ever catch something on camera, but, like, you know what I mean, you found it afterward, 
and you're kind of like, oh, like it's kind of pointless to film this because it's like I, I, I made a cut and then I found it, right? So I don't like to do that. I like the camera rolling continuously and then we find things, right? Because if I just be like, oh man, I found that. I should film it. I should turn my camera back on. That's not going to look genuine because it's literally like I'm already, you know what I mean? It's already been done. So as excitement goes, I just like to reboot. And if I find something new, then I find something new. If I don't find anything, then I don't find anything at all. Yeah, this place just spring bings, brings back bad memories. It doesn't look like there's much in there though. It just looks like there's like the apple tree thing. Yeah, I don't want to go in there because that's where I saw him. <laughs> that's where I saw the guy the last time, so I don't want to do that. Alright. I don't think you guys want to see me literally walk all the way out of here. So I'm probably going to cut this. You guys will see me tonight and we'll do the uh, we'll do the big, big, big foot mesh. We'll set it up. So all I'm doing tonight is I'm just going there, making sure that the fort's secure. Sorry, I'm looking at flowers right now. I'm always looking. I'm always looking for new things. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to the fort, make sure that the supports, everything is good to my liking for safety reasons. Um, I'm not bringing survival gear yet. I'm literally just going there. We're going to check it out, make sure that it's doable, and... Uh, yeah, I might throw in a few more points, so I might do a little bit of random nodding afterward. But um, if anything shows, if anybody shows up, then I won't be able to do an overnight there. I won't be able to go back there again because it's just I've had too many incidents there. But it's been a little bit, so I kind of want to go back and just check it out and see if it's safe now. All right, guys. So um, that's it for now. I'll see you tonight. All right. What's going on guys? So we decided to do something very, very different today. I've been getting a lot of requests to do an overnight video. Um, obviously I was doing some other stuff before this whole idea inspired, just doing regular random nodding. But yeah, I decided to come back down to the Bigfoot teepee and just scope the place out. Hopefully there's nobody's here, nobody's hanging around here because I really want to use that fort and do an overnight video. And maybe we could even look for Bigfoot himself. So I'm back in this forest. To try that out. Holy smokes. Let's get the light done up here. There we go. We're just focusing. So yeah, we're gonna make our make our way down there. And I might even do some random nodding tonight as well. It's still not dark out. I got a bit of daylight. So hopefully when it just starts getting dark, we can decide what we'll do from then. But I, yeah, I didn't bring any survival gear yet. I've been watching a lot of Survivor Man, and that's kind of what's been amping up this whole idea to do an overnight here. Because then I can bring my snacks, compass, a bunch of survival gear. Maybe we can try some stuff out and do that along with the random nodding. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's get this thing to focus. It takes time just to adjust to the light. I think all these cameras are like that no matter what. But, yeah, here we go. I actually forgot my O light today. I was so stupid. So, I'm lucky that this light is doing well with the, uh, the lens and everything like that. I absolutely love this forest. Uh, Man-made forests look really cool with the straight lines of trees. Sorry, I got a branch stuck to my stuck to my foot there. But yeah, we got these wide, wide open woods, guys. There's a lot of that going on. Careful not to trip. I am by myself, but I'm quite confident in this forest. It's pretty close to somewhere where my friends live and stuff like that, so I, I like that. Is that? I thought I saw something in between the trees, but I could have just been like a house light or something. Okay. Check it out. What the heck's up here? Busted a bottle and a rock. Hold on. 
No, there's something there. I don't know what that is. Yo. Uh, hello? No, there's somebody. There's somebody out here. What's going on? Okay, I'm just gonna see what's going on. Hopefully it's not somebody that's gonna take my spot, because that would suck. Somebody's been cutting wood out here, I've noticed that. What's going on? No, there's somebody up there. Okay. Could be just somebody else, um, could be just somebody else hiking through these woods. I've seen some flashlights here before, but, um, yeah, we'll just continue to make our way up. Let's see what happens. Would be nice to ran a knot today, that'd be kind of cool. Oh wait, there's paper there. Just an old newspaper. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, what is that? I don't know if he's coming back this way or what. Yeah, because I saw what looked like a flashlight or a headlamp or something, so I don't really know what's going on, guys. Whoa. Uh, hello? Oh, yeah, I guess he's just hiking too, so let's check it out. It's weird that they don't say anything, though. this guy and see what's going on here. He didn't even say anything. I mean, I know there's other people that like hike here and stuff during the woods, but I don't know. Nice night for a walk, eh? Yeah, so I think it's just some guy hiking. He probably doesn't know where the fort is, so I'm hoping that he just kind of passes by it. So if he passes by it, then I know that I'm in the clear. Because I know exactly where the location is. Weird. Yeah, he is going our way, but... At least it's not a problem. He's probably just trying to get back to his motorcycle or whatever. So that's not too bad. I don't mind if people don't respond back. But I do get a little antsy when obviously danger itself presents itself. So I know with that regard... I get a little antsy. But yeah, he's just going through. I should be getting close to my, uh, close to my destination soon. Hopefully this guy is not around. Because I was really excited to get this Bigfoot series going. I've been wanting to do one. Apparently they've been spotted in Texas as well these things so yeah 
Yeah, looks like I'm almost there. So I'm just gonna take a dip off here. This guy's probably just gonna keep walking, so he can just go on his own way. All right. So it looks like I have to take a left here to the fort. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see, I think we're almost there. So yeah, the fort's right over here. So we're gonna go check that out. And then over here. <sighs> Not so bad. So I guess there's other people hiking here at night. Holy smokes. Oh my god, fake roses. Something was smashed. But yeah, this is the fort, guys. So this is probably where I'll be uh, camping out. I was able to find it again, so that's really good. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna scope out the place, make sure everything's all right, and we'll come back to you. All right, guys, so the fort looks pretty secure. I'm pretty happy about this. Everything is still the way it was. So I shouldn't have to worry about like this thing coming down on me. Every All the ropes and supports seem to be there. So that's really cool. But yeah, I just didn't bring my equipment today like survival gear because I wasn't sure um, if I was going to stay here or not. I might do a little bit of random nodding after this just in this woods because we've got some really weird things. But anyways, I'm just going to come outside Make sure everything's still safe and everything. Hopefully nobody's coming back here. That was my biggest worry is like, I wanted to come here, spend a few hours. So it'll probably be a lot of off cam stuff too. Cause like I plan on coming back here, spending a few hours, making sure that this area was safe. Oh yeah, that's that Teddy I found uh, here doing a ran or not. But yeah, I'm not seeing any people in the back. But yeah, I'm just going to walk around the property a bit just to make sure that uh, that I'm safe. Yeah, I don't see anybody. And it's quiet. That's cool. Alright, probably go through my pockets and see what other stuff I brought. I don't think I brought any snacks today, that's for sure. But yeah, this is basically it, guys. I'm just sit right here. Ah, oh. nice, nice fort. Very. Uh, hello. What the hell is that? I just saw somebody. Um, hello. Holy! Sh yo, yo, yo! Back up, man! Back up! Get away from me, man! Oh, oh, freak! Oh, freak! Fucking guy! Okay, man, I'm leaving, okay? I'm leaving. Alright? Let's go. Yeah, so he must be... He must be hanging out there. Holy crap, what was that? Whip something at me. Holy There's more of them. There's more people out here. Holy. 
Holy crap. There's a guy down there too. Stay back, man. Frank, 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 let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. There's another person trying to cut me off. There's two guys. There's one that just tried to cut me off. That was creepy. There's literally two people. There's literally two people that came out. Oh, holy, holy, holy crap. Oh. Yo, stay there, man. Yo, drop that, drop the Holy crap. Yeah, bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. All right, I'm leaving, man. I'm leaving, okay? Yeah, he's claiming territory. There were two people. There was literally a second guy. Holy smokes, so there's probably more people out here, so that's not good. Not good. As soon as I ran down, somebody blocked me off, and I was just, I didn't want to go down even further. He probably sent a guy to look and see if, uh, yeah, if, uh, like, you know, like somebody's here, somebody's, you know, in our territory. Because like I said, there's people squatting, there's people hanging out, living in these woods. And you don't know what to expect. So, yeah, that's intense. But I'm going to get into this little area here, and then I'm going to make my leave. That's not a good idea to stay here, that's for sure. Alright, so I'm in the clearing now. Should be fine. And then I'll get, I'll head out. Alright guys, so we're on our way back. Yo, I'm already hearing sounds. What is going on here? Good thing I started vlogging the camera, because I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, it's probably nothing. Kind of just stopped. swore that I could hear something banging or something down here, but... Uh, yep, yeah, just going through. Oh, not this guy again. Yo, man, drop the sludge. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go this way. Freaking guy. Like, are you okay, bro? Holy smokes! Holy smokes, stay there, man! You freaking psycho! Holy oh, Freaking guy's coming at me. Okay, let's go. I think there's another way out there. Freaking guy. I don't know what he's doing. That's the part is that the car is back that way. But I can't go that way. Like I'm gonna have to go around. 
I do not know my way that way. I could be walking for miles. I got an idea though. If I have to dim my lights, I can probably walk around him. Looks like he left, actually. I think he left. Okay. Yeah, look, he was chomping on this log right here. Just obliterated it. I'm gonna keep my lights dim, though. I think he's gone. Cause I have to get back to the car, like there's no other way back. I don't want to walk around the city because this thing has multiple exits. Okay, I think he's going. It's pretty dark up here. Oh, freaking guy, man. These people are psychopaths. Psychopaths for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get out of here now. Yeah, that was insane. Here I was just trying to check the place out and there's still problems. I can't camp here overnight. That's a shame. Would have been a perfect place to go and camp out, but um, yeah, I didn't. Okay, let's go guys. Let's go. Holy I didn't even see him there. Yo, man, I'm just trying to get back to my car. Can I just get back to my car? Like, come on, bro. This freaking guy. Whether he likes it or not. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, there you go. Later, dirtbag. Okay, let's go. Back to the car. Back to the car, baby. And that's the last thing I want to do. Just get stuck out here. Oh boy. Whoo! Okay, I don't see anybody. Okay, let's torch the woods. Whoa! Let's go. Woo! Uh. Uh. Holy smokes. Uh. Oh man. Woo! So close. Uh. So close. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh. Uh. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh boy. Okay. I don't want to lose my keys. Sweet. Okay. I got back to the road. Yeah. I got back to the road. All right, I should be safe to get home from here. That was too much.